Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can clone the user like this in this Bug AR studio and yeah, we will also apply a background to it and we will do some different variations of it. So let's go! Hey again, so let's clone the user here in this Bug AR studio. The first thing we have to do is to extract some textures from our camera object. For this, we go to the left hand side to our scene and here we select our camera object. When the camera object is selected, go to the right hand side and click on the little plus next to texture extraction. Also go down to segmentation and here also click on the little plus. Now just select person. So now you can find two new textures in your assets panel, the camera texture 0 and the segmentation mask texture 0. The next step is to create a material. For this go to the assets panel, click on the plus and then select material. I will rename this material to person. When the material is selected, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Then go down to diffuse and here as a texture select the camera texture. Then go down to alpha and here activate it. Then choose as a texture the segmentation mask texture 0. So now our material is set. The next step is to create a canvas object and some rectangles. Go to your scene, click on the little plus and now create a rectangle object. Spark AR will automatically create a canvas object for you with a rectangle object inside of it. So now you can see the rectangle on the left upper corner, but we wanted to stretch it to the whole width and height of the viewport. For this select the rectangle, go to the right hand side and here select for the width, fill width and for the height, fill height. When you don't have the option fill height, just set this here to relative and set the number to 100. So now you can see the rectangle is stretched to the whole screen. Now just go down to materials and here select the person material. So now nothing has changed because the layer is exactly on the user of the original camera. At the moment we have one person but we want to have more. For this we go back to our scene and here we click, right click on the rectangle and then we select duplicate. So now we have two rectangles in our scene. Just select one, the best one would be the upper one and then go to your viewport and here you can just drag and drop around your, your layer. And as you can see here in the viewport there is also a second me <laughs> in the viewport. So just drag it around and yeah, um, just select the right placing. So when you select the um, rectangle under the first one, you can also drag it around. And as you can see here, now we have three of us. And you can also play around with the settings of this rectangle. For example, when you um, select the rectangle, go to the right hand side and here you can play around with the scale for example when you set it to 0 0.5 it is much smaller when you set it to 2 it is much bigger. Hi. So yeah I will set down here the scale to 0 0.7 and then when we want to rotate this we can rotate this for uh, let's say 90. We rotated it, rotated it for 90 degrees and now I'm yeah here on the side and yeah, just play around with the placing of the different layers and here then you can really um, achieve a cool effect. So and you can also have a background here. Um, so the original person is disappearing. For this, um, go to your assets panel and create a new material. This is just an example. I will use no texture, just a solid color. Um, I will call this material background. Then go to the right hand side, set the shader type to flat and I will set here the color to let's say um, orange. So when this is done um, we can create another rectangle. So go to your scene, click on the little plus and here create a new rectangle. So now the rectangle is here, now do the same as before, just set the width to fill width and the height to fill height and as a material select the background material but now you can't see um, yeah any person anymore because the rectangle layer the background 
rectangle layer is in front of every other layer. To change this, go to your scene. The rectangle 2 layer is our background layer. Um, I would recommend to rename the layers when you create them. So I will rename this to background and the other two is to person 1 and person 2. Now you just have to drag and drop your background um, upon every other layer and now the persons are back in the screen and yeah the original camera object is camera is gone so now we have just two persons here but yeah you can do it again just click on a person layer then right click and duplicate and now you can also drag around the new layer and of course scale it as you want it to so now this <laughs> looks pretty nice to me i hope this video was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!